Hi, and welcome to Dana Nicole in downtown Stratford. Here we often put together a full complete outfit for a client and we find that sometimes a shirt and pants just isn't exciting enough without a simple accessory. The number one accessory this season for us has been the beautiful Seymour printed scarves. But the number one question is how to wear them properly. So what I often find clients are doing is they're evening up the ends and draping the scarf perfectly neat and tidy and then when they put it on and they wrap it around it becomes too chest heavy and top heavy especially on a client that's a little bit chestier. So what we recommend is that you grab one corner and let the scarf fall. Now you're working on the bias and as you'll see you get a much longer scarf. I'm going to put it two-thirds to my right and one-third to the left and when I wrap it around you get a nice long line you get a little bit more print showing and if you straighten it out you get less bulk on the chest which is nice with a coat and nice on a petite or a tall client that's or someone who's broader in the shoulders and chest so that's the number one way that we find from that what a lot of times I find um, a lot of my clients that are maybe chiropractors or work with small children or in public washrooms the scarf is just a little too long and it might drag in water or in your work when you tie both those ends together in a small square knot and spin it around to the back, it now works like an infinity scarf. So you can also give it one more twist. I've got two loops. You can also give it a third this time of year with the snow flying and it just becomes a little bit cozier and a little bit more of a um, crew neck or turtleneck style. So that's two ways. The great thing about a lightweight scarf is you can also still wear it with a coat and when you go inside it's not as bulky or heavy as a winter weight scarf. So by still taking your scarf from the corner and letting it fall so that you have a nice bias cut, then you fold it in half, put the loop on your left side, reach through the loop and grab one half, give it a twist and grab the other half. Now when I wear that with a coat, it fills in the open part by the chest. It doesn't add any bulk so the coat still does up nicely without an extra bump and it frames the face bringing the colors that are most flattering to you up by your face. Lastly, another way to wear the great large oversized um, lightweight scarves is to grab the point again and let it fall and now when we have the U we're going to um, put the loop in the front cross it in the back. You can wear it like that obviously. You can also give it one more twist and you can reach, we're going to now weave this. So over the loop and back under, under the loop with the other side and back over. And when you shorten that all up, you get a little more decorative style up by the face again. Again, you should always pick out a scarf that highlights your colors as in your color palette, so something that enhances your eyes or your skin tone, as well as something that will pull your outfit together. With a scarf like this, I now can put on a nice pair of um, brown distressed boots with a little dress and wear it more casually.